This video is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock. Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and as the early days of Strixhaven roll on, I'm super excited to bring you a Lorehold deck that I'm really excited about and having fun playing. And I'm excited to wear this shirt by Into the AM. Check this one out. Oh my god. In it, an astronaut, Superman punching the freaking moon. Comfortable. Awesome graphics. Super stylish. Worthy of the one and best of one. Check out Into the AM. There is a link below, and I it supports the channel if you make a purchase there. Do strongly recommend. Like, this might be the best one yet, so thank you very much. Into the AM.com. Let's see the deck. Let's see the deck. What is going on in Boros? What is going on in Lorehold? What what should we do with these cards? And what's going on is Magecraft. Magecraft is a sick ability. Let's start with Clever Luminancer. Magecraft, whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, plus two, plus two, until end of turn. It's kind of amazing how well this set has done at making Magecraft work. There are so many different Magecraft decks you can build. Almost none of them are blue, so it's very... It's, it's out of my element to wield spells in this way. I really enjoyed the Witherbloom version, still do. But this Boros version is not a slacker, mostly because it can, can kill you completely out of nowhere. Clever Lumamancer and Leonin Lightscribe are the two key cards with Magecraft. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, creatures you control get plus one plus one until end of turn. Nice. So when you have both of these, and it's a great one-two curve, you every spell gives you so much power and toughness your opponent often just dies out of nowhere and when we pick our spells carefully and pair them well it can just really boost and continue to build on that power and toughness defiant strike shouldn't surprise you plus one plus oh and draw a card fight is one is actually a really sick synergy because both the clever lumamancer is a human the Leonin Lightscribe is a non-human, so both of them are protected by one one-mana instant spell. Very nice. What might surprise you is Guiding Voice. This is one white sorcery. Put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature and learn. Learn is meh because you're, it is drawing you a card. The card is not always good. But in a deck like this, what I think is underestimated is that the card doesn't need to be good. It just needs to be an instant or sorcery so that it can trigger Magecraft, so that it can keep making your Leonin Light Scribe and your Clever Lumimancer good. Because the biggest risk you have is running out of spells to cast. We all have been in that position where our spell-themed deck suddenly has no spells and things get bad. Guiding Voice produces two spells in one. And our learn board, we have Academic Probation, we have Environmental Sciences, which I found out was a lot better than I thought. I didn't have it in at the start of the video and then had to add it. Um, and then we have Reduce to Memory, which can kind of clean up any permanent. Start from scratch, which can deal with an artifact or go face. And we have two expanded anatomies, which are not a card I ever thought I would run in a deck like this, but its ability to target your creatures and make them huge and give them vigilance is actually really, really good. Uh, I, I'm stunned by how good it is. It's also good because it targets a creature I control, which brings us to the wise old owl, Mavinda Student's Advocate. If you listened to the podcast where I talked about this card, I said I hate this card. I still do. I don't know what it is. It's the Tootsie Roll Owl combined with the owl from, I don't know, is it Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood? Is Winnie the Pooh? I don't know what it is, but I look at this and I'm like, I, this is so lame. The bird advisor, even the animation, he just comes down and wants to be your friend. I don't know. I don't, I'm not here to make friends. I'm Chad. I'm alpha. I'm evil. I don't, I don't want it. I don't want cutesy, nice animations. Okay. I just don't. But anyway, the card's good. Zero mana, you may cast target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard this turn. If that spell doesn't target a creature, you control it costs eight more. Just whatever. You can't cast spells that don't target your creatures. It's fine. And uh, activate this once each turn. What's really cool about this is you can do this on your turn and the opponent's turn at instant speed in response to them targeting your creatures. So if you have out Mavinda, the student's advocate, and you have a fight as one in the graveyard, you can just 
gain indestructible for you and another creature at instant speed on either turn. Same with Sejiri Shelter. Uh, on your turn, you can replay Guiding Voice. You can play Defiant Strike and draw more cards. This card is actually very decent, and the flying is not trivial. Having an evasive threat actually comes up as a big deal very often when you play the deck. So do not under do not underestimate this owl. You can I I hate the flavor and the animation and so many things about it. But it's good. It's a good card. Unleash Fury. We know about this one. We've seen this one combined with our cards before, but in this deck, uh just absolutely can go bonkers with Clever Lumamancer and Leonin Light Scribe. It can deal them so much damage seemingly out of nowhere. It's a heck of a punch to the face. Kazul's Fury can also sacrifice the large creature and finish somebody off. Showdown and Goldspan Dragon are the top end combo, so if the opponent manages to fend off your early creatures, you can still play Showdown of the Scalds into a Goldspan Dragon into Unleashed Fury and still combo kill them out of nowhere, even if they stop your initial rush. So that's an idea of how the deck works. You really want a clever Lumamancer or Leonin Light Scribe in your opening hand. You should probably mulligan for them unless you have maybe a Mavinda and a fight is one or, you know, something like that. And then the plan is later in the game to cast Showdown and Goldspan Dragon if they somehow stop these. So we'll see how it plays out. I'm excited to play some Magecraft Boros for you, even if it's not my usual jam of control, because Magecraft in general is something that can get me into aggro where you're playing spells and doing math and creating giant monsters out of nowhere. Plus there's selection and guiding voice. It's a much more fun aggro deck than I anticipated and I think it's a good way to go with the lore hold college. So as before we dive in, I know longer intros, longer intros because we have a lot of new cards to introduce. It's just while the cards are new, it'll be okay. Uh, this video is dedicated to Bradley Kennedy, who is the most recent YouTube member at the time that I start this recording. You can hit join below, join the cool kids club, support the channel for only $4.99 a month and possibly get a video dedicated to you in the future. You also get early access to my deck lists. I promised a special 420 video we hit 420 YouTube members. Well, we blew it away. Uh, I'm proud to announce 431 members. So you get the 420 video. I was never going to bring back the evil 420 CGB. You know what I'm talking about if you've been here for over a year, but it looks like it has to happen. So look forward to that tomorrow. And now for this deck, thank you very much, Bradley Kennedy, for this dedication. Let's go to the store. Let's pick up a bundle. I like to grab the bundles to save some moolah. And what bundle are we going to grab? Uh, I like the Borderless Planeswalkers. I think these arts are a big step up, even if I haven't played these cards too often. So let's grab it. This Borderless Planeswalker bundle is dedicated to you, Bradley. Thank you very much. I do not have enough gems. I'll take care of it. I am going to buy it. I'm not scamming you. I'm going to end the recording. I'm going to buy some more gems. Okay, I promise. This is not a scam. It's not a scam. Do I have the gold? Actually, I don't. I'm like short on gold. I want my daily quest back. All right, not a scam, I promise. I'm actually gonna buy them. Just gonna do it off screen. Let's dive in. Let the nonsense begin. Defiant Strike, Light Scribe, Shelter, Showdown on the play. Let's give it a try. So, Hateful Eidolon. Well, that's going to affect how we play this deck, isn't it? We don't want to put creatures out that are just going to die. Hmm. It's tempting to put one of these down tap to make sure that we have enough land, but we might need them to protect our creatures. But yeah, we don't want to play anything. They'll just kill it. Oh, audio. That's right, headphones. Yes, good. Okay, that's bad too. That's a lot of pressure. All right, I'm just going to draw this card. Guiding Voice. So, play this. Put a counter on it. Cast Guiding Voice. Go get a thing. Do we does it die? Probably. I think we have to play around their toys with shelter. Which means we have to take some hits. But patience is key. We don't want just want to put this out, have it get dead weighted, and die. 
Because the opponent will draw like 50 cards with the Eidolons. But man, is their... Their draw is ideal. And uh, they're up against a matchup that they should win. Like, we, this is a bad matchup for us. We're going to have to finagle this if we can. The good news is we kind of blank their attack if we use a shelter here. And then we get to do it again next turn and try to build a Voltron, a big creature. Yep, here it comes. Now, do they also have instant speed removal of some kind, like Eliminate? That would be impressive to fit all that removal into one deck. Nope. So, yep, blanked their attack. Another land. We want to hold up Shelter for another turn, and then we want to play Scalds. If we had one more mana to play Scalds and play Shelter, it would be insane. We could tr be like, okay, we're, we'll use Fight as one, but that doesn't save us from the enchantments. So for this turn, we want to use the Guiding Voice on the Scribe. What are we going to get? None of these are particularly great. All of these are very medium here. So we could loot. We could uh, get rid of the Snarl and draw a new card, but we want to keep hitting our land for the showdown. So maybe the right card is Expanded Anatomy to make this creature bigger? Yeah, I think we just need to have a huge threat. A Voltron. All right. So, voice. Do we attack with a 4-4? Four, four? We'll end up taking 5, and they have lifelink on the way back. So, no, we do not. All right, so this is where they play the Myers Grasp. Yep, and we do this again. Well, Vindo would be an awesome draw here. A truly awesome draw. All right, we blank them again and we draw the shelter. Okay, I'm going to... If we hit an untap land... Oh, will we hit the untap land? Four cards for an untap land, guys. It's so risky. If we miss, it all falls apart. We could just spend another turn on Shelter and play the Anatomy instead, which I think is the safe play. And try to give ourselves all the opportunity to hit that land. All right, six damage secured. Lock it in. And let them play a few more enchantments. When they have double idol on, they always have like four of these. Okay, and they have Lurus, which now they can cast this enchantment every turn. Feels good. You know what? We can let this... Oh, wow. Okay, so we let them attack, right? And then we go... Black. It falls back off, and we block... Got him. Another scribe. Yep, it's showdown time. It is showdown time. There's an Unleashed Fury and a Defiant Strike and a Kazool's Fury. We would love to save most of these until next turn. The opponent has so much lifelink coming at us, it's kind of terrifying. This is five. Unleashed Fury is six. The problem is, it's going to go down to a 2, right? Because they're going to cast one of these Myers Grasps. And we didn't hit the untapped land, by the way. And we can't get another creature on the field, so we're going to have to build this up with a lot of counters. So I don't think we can uh, Fury Fury win. So we're going to need the mana. So we'll play this. We'll s Gosh, if we attack here, we can hit them for 7 and they gain back 5. But then they're tapped out if they attack. They don't have any blockers. So I think it's a net positive and we go for it. All right, let's hit him extra hard. Oh, 
Okay, they get a free Lurus enchantment, like a Myers Grasp. They get to play a Sky Clay Shade from the graveyard. If they have two of these enchantments, we're just gonna lose. No! How do they do it? How do they always have it, man? Nah, it's fine. It, it's what I would expect. Like I said, it's why this matchup is hard. It's why this matchup is very, very hard. We used all the shelter we could find. A Melinda would still be very good. A Melinda would still give us a, a very good chance. Instead, it's another showdown. How do we survive another turn? I guess this has to survive, so we need to pump it. Fourteen seven can't do nothing. All that they need to do is kill this. Um, okay, that's down to one. They can also activate the Haven for lethal. That works too. Yeah, that sucked. That sucked, but I don't think we're supposed to win that game. On the play, you love to see it. There's a Yorian over there. There's no early pressure. But if we draw lands, the Goldspan Dragon combo is here. What do we need to do? Draw two lands on the play. That's less than 48% to happen. If we draw any creature, Guiding Voice, though, digs us for another card, which raises it to about 60%. Let's see what happens. Hold the mountain because of, we might draw a Snarl. Okay, another pathway. It's actually tough. Haven, sure. Sucks. Alright. Uh, let's go. See if the opponent can kill the Mavinda. God, I hate this animation. I just hate it. I don't know what it is. I Something about the wise old owl doesn't uh, ring to me, you know? I'm just like, this This is stupid. <laughs> Alright, so next turn. How do we keep our opponent from killing Mavinda? Or do we just go for showdown, hope to hit double red, go dragon win? It would be nice if we could wait another turn on that. I think we can. So, we can play the guiding voice. This can protect them of Vinda. So what's in this sideboard? We have reduced to memory. The X start from scratch. We could just kill their chariot, but I don't think that's particularly good. I think we just kind of let them have that. Now the probation, on the other hand, we can name all kinds of things. Uh, at some point, we're going to want to name the ultimatum. I think we'll just grab this because we can flash it back, but we don't need to do it this turn. This turn we can do this. I'm holding up fight as one on purpose, of course. I, I, I think they're going to try to destroy this once they see how crazy it can go. And we'll grab, man, these are tough. Um, let's grab the probation so that we're ready to stop and ultimatum at the right time. And clock them. So this turn, we hit them with the fight as one when they try to destroy this. Next turn, we play showdown. Still hold up fight as one from the graveyard if we find another white source. And the turn after that, dragon can probably combo off and kill them. And I think that is before they get to ultimatum. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So they're going to try to aggro me with the chariot, but they can have all that. Like, we're, we're airborne here. We do not care. Speaking of don't care, how about Extinction Event? Naming Odd and totally wrecking me. This feels bad. <laughs> Alright. So now it's all up to the Goldspan Dragon. That is not a lot of gas for our dragon. That is negative gas for the dragon. But maybe we can still draw into a Fury. 
Maybe we can still get there. Sixteen life, guys. Can we do it? Foretells an epiphany, nice. Buys Yorian, nice. All right, um, should we do math or should we just go for it? <laughs> 16 is a lot. Uh, this could name All Runs Epiphany since we know they've got that. But we can also just name Emergent Ultimatum. We can also establish these critters and then go for the dragon on the last possible moment. How are they doing? They don't have the blue, but they can play the Yorian, and the Yorian's a big problem. We could name Yorian. All right, let's let's try to get him. This is a uh, a very. This is very fun, by the way. I don't know if you've if you've lived this life, but it can be very fun. Uh, destroy target artifact. Now, of these, I don't really know what the heck to get anymore. I guess this is fine. All right, so you here. So what's a guy got to do for an unleashed fury, huh? It's going to be close. 13, 12. This is 14. Not quite there, but we do get to play the probation. Let's play out the Lumamancer. And then this is 15. This was 1, 2, yeah. Oh no, it was lethal! It was lethal. I miss lethal, so I had to target this with the one damage to make another thing, and it would put the counter here, and then I could play this as well. All right, um, this is one damage to any target, though. Wait a minute. But we only have two mana left over. All right, um, let's name, choose an online card name. Let's choose Emergent Ultimatum. So they can't cast that. Let's put them to one, and then we untap and cast Start from Scratch for Lethal. I think there's enough on that dragon. I think that dragon's done enough work. This is one damage to any target. It can go face. So it's not until my next turn, right? Until your next turn. So even with an extra turn from the Epiphany, they can't cast the ultimatum. Which might be what they're thinking here. Okay, kitty cats. Sure. Down to four. Are we dead? Oh, I'm just gonna die, aren't I? I'm just gonna die. I missed that. Wait, no, not necessarily. I have three blocks. I have three blocks. They they won't remove anything. They can't remove a dang thing. And they definitely don't have another ultimatum. Feels bad. Feels feels bad. All right, I'm pretty sure I missed lethal in there, and that's A-OK, -okay because I'm still getting the hang of playing with the deck. I'm gonna see if there's a cheaper lesson I can add to the sideboard, because like one mana made a huge difference. Chuck Flores. What a derivative stupid name. Anyway, let's try to get on the board. We're going first. We're against Yorian again. We have zero creatures. What is up with these hands? Come on now. All right, can't keep hand with no creatures, I don't think. All right, looks a lot like the last time we played against Yorian, doesn't it? 
Looks a lot like last time. I'm going to try to hang on to shelter. It would be nice to be able to play shelter, but we'll see. Yeah, I guess I got to play it tapped. Feels bad. All right. So my draws have been pretty poor so far. I just haven't even started with a Luma Mancer in a single game. I'm sure that has a lot to do with the performance. But it's been kind of cool to nearly pop off and almost win both of those games. Let's see if they spend their turn killing this owl or not. Drawing a second one is also really nasty. Like, not good. <laughs> of course, if they kill this one. But it's their cultivate turn. Will they kill it or not? Okay. Going in for the Heartless Act. If we draw a land, we're in good shape. We do not. So, how many removal spells were they ready with over there? Is it binding the old gods? Dude. Is there anything worse than binding? And if... Man, if we hadn't been on a mulligan there, too. If we had, like, just the same hand, but one, with it with one more card, we could have uh, had a land here. I guess it wouldn't matter, because Baleful Mastery is in exile. And now we need a red source off the top for the dragon. And then we get to play magic. Okay. Magic it is. Magic will be played. If we draw a Fury here, we might be able to win. It's close. Okay, we can't win. But we can try. Alright. Two mana. Let's make them white. So we know we want to play Fight as one. Do we also want to play the Defiant Strike? Yeah, we might draw We might draw something good. So if we're going to do that, we'll do it first. Might change our play. We're going to have all this mana and nothing to do with it. <laughs> you know, we missed that one land drop, but then we've drawn three in a row. Magic can be nasty. Uh-huh. Okay, that turns off the Scalds. 14-14. Fury. Land. Four straight lands off the top. It's been a rough day. Let's see if the opponent can ultimatum or Valky or do something disgusting. Whatever they can do, they can Yorian, which can block this, which is really bad. Oh, they don't. They go, okay, that unt that taps down my dragon. Yeah, that's game. Not my day, guys. Oh, it was there. It was there. We would have had lethal. Not my day. All right. We are due for a good hand. We are really due for a good, good hand. Let's go. Uh, Light Scribe. Okay, and we're on the play. We're against Yorian for the third... It's either the third or fourth straight time. <laughs> I mean, my goodness. This is our life. Maybe I have to figure out how to make this even more aggressive. Maybe Melinda's too slow. Just, no, don't hello me. Come on now. Come on now. I don't I don't like hellos. Hellos are lame. Let's go with this so that we have fight as one for protection. Okay, Haven it is. Nice. Let's play this. We're going to be able to put up some pressure. Let's get that 0-1 dominance assertion. What do you know? What a, what a stunning play. All right, let's go. It feels like those cards were just meant to be together, yeah? All right, Unleash Fury. Let's, let's pop off a little bit here. Try to hurt the opponent a lot. Hey, 
And down to one. Did you see that coming? Can we finish the job? If I draw the learn spell, I can go get the card in the sideboard that just does one damage, right? I don't, I think it's still there. Oh yeah, it's still there. Chariot! I want some revenge on this stupid card. Come on. Come on, draw land or something. Okay, that's good. Let's get some fresh cards. The opponent gets to ultimatum next turn. But maybe we get to dragon. We're still lacking red. We have protection. Man, I'm actually going to lose this somehow, aren't I? We just have to sneak something through, so we need something to live. And the opponent needs the untapped land, the ultimatum. Then we need to choose wisely. We can probably let them try to take another turn with All Runs Epiphany, as long as they don't sweep our board. <laughs> I'd feel a lot better, though, if this were a mountain. I'd feel so good if I could untap and dragon. Okay, Cultivate. That is not an ultimatum. Alright, maybe we're going to play against one person today who doesn't just have it. Give us a chance. Guiding Voice. Triggers. We get to do it the fun way. <laughs> or do we? It's too risky. Alright, so I kind of want to hit them with start from scratch, but it's too risky. So we gotta do this. We'll go over here. We do pro green, we attack, and then we do pro green over here. We attack with both, they can't block anything, so they'd have to have two removal spells, and neither could be Heartless Act. Mm hmm So we put the counter here, counter the Heartless Act in response, and we give the pro green over here. Game. The sequencing is important there. If we just go pro green, pro green, attack, attack, like, or if we add them both to the stack, like, we don't care, then they might get their blocks, but they don't have protection from black, so they might get hit by removal, so do you have to watch that sequence. I should have been more pumped about the last game. We finally did it. We got our Lumamancer. We got our Kitty. We popped off a little bit. We beat Yorian. Felt good. Still no early creatures here, so we have to mulligan. All right. Let's put one of these Furies away. Keep the threats, although this hand is very meh. And our opponent's on the play, so they must be mono red. <laughs> this is mono red. They play mono red. Our beautiful tutus are just lining up to get destroyed. Okay. GG's. GG's. <laughs> oh, that kind of day, huh? That kind of day. Ah, on the play with creatures. Yes! Didn't have to mulligan. Let's do it. Oh, baby. Oh, yes. Let's go. This is mono red again. I'll take it. It's fine. Oh yeah. All right. So in the past, uh, the past three turns of Magic, my opponents have played four fervent champions. <laughs> it's fine. This is fine. Let's pump up. Unfortunately, this doesn't get out of range of the Bone Crusher Giant. So what do we grab? We could also loot, but I don't think we want to loot. I think this is just an expanded anatomy to try to go bigger. If they kill this, maybe they don't have ways to interact with this and we can start going off with Mavinda. Or maybe for once in their greedy lives, they just don't have... Never mind. Well, they did use a Frostbite, so maybe Mavinda will live. I would love to wait another turn for Mavinda, but I don't feel like I can, because if we do nothing this turn, it will be bad. 
should have played the pathway instead. Order. Order with the freaking, uh... What are they called? The dual lands now. They have a name. I just... The Snarls. Yeah. Order with Snarls. You want to hold up basic land till the end. Okay, we got a reader. If they just snap off Frostbite after being like, Hmm, what do I do? What do I do? I'm going to be salty. Okay. Alright, they ain't got it. <laughs> they didn't attack with a Fervent Champion. They are weak. They have nothing. Alright. Now what? Definitely this. We want to hold on to the Scalds until we can also hit a land drop with it. So what else do we get? I guess more of this. Seems good. Let's put some pressure on our opponent now. We can just keep casting this card every single turn and make this bigger and bigger and bigger. All right. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that is a thick owl. That is a thick, vigilant owl. Our opponent's like, boom, I got Torbran. I'm good. Yeah, come at me. Okay. <laughs> and that's the difference between having creatures and being on the play versus mono red and the other things that can happen. I guess we'll keep it. We have a creature and a spell. We're on the draw, though. Uh, okay. Five fervent champions in the first three turns of the last three games. I just want to quit. I don't want to play. Like, I just immediately don't want to play, to be honest. But, all right. We'll, 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 we'll get rolled. It's fine. Hold up, Bone Crusher Giant. Play Fireblade Charger. Okay. Um... I really want the Light Scribe to live, but it's going to be so hard. It's going to be so hard to do. Do I just want to play a clever Lumamancer here? What do I go get? I can go get the removal spell. Maybe if they miss a land drop and we kill this, it's good. Plus it makes a 1-2, which isn't bad. So they do have to remove it. Um... We could also get another land, because we are trying to be dragon combo, and two life is not trivial. And I think that's better than spending three mana to kill a 1-1. One, one. Come on, draw me another Unleash Fury so we can turn five this. Come on. I don't want to lose to Mono Red again. It makes me sad, okay? Come on. Okay, Phoenix, hey! This is kind of a... It stopped a point of damage. My life is somewhat complete. There's a good land. Okay. What's the play, though? What's the play? Let's make the opponent find a way to kill this. Definitely did the wrong order. Uh, I should have tapped this, this, and held up a white and put on the stops to try to bluff something here. So this was a mistake. I wonder if I'm supposed to play shock in this deck. Just a really cheap trigger. All right, Embercleave. Let's find out. If we draw another Unleash Fury, I think I can kill them here. Okay. Interesting. Down to nine. That's not an Unleash Fury. If they're going to make a play like that. Okay, they might have played around Shock there. They might actually have Embercleave. So if we tap out here and go for Showdown, it's pretty bad. We could play Shelter Tapped. Good sciences. What can we get to here? T 
Two life can help a lot. There's a frostbite. All right, so this becomes a two, this becomes a three, then it becomes a five, then it becomes a 10, and there's also triggers from this, so. But we don't wanna cast the fury now, so like right away, we can't do it. We can't do the fury. All right, so let's do this. All right, figure this out. If they Ember Cleave, then they hit for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If they power up Haven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, if they Rimrock Knight Ember Cleave, which would have to be exact their exact two last cards, which I don't think they have the Rimrock Knight. I think we would have seen it. All right, so we attack. Hold on to your butts. They don't have enough mana to go pump with Phoenix and Embercleave. We need them to attack with the Phoenix so that the dragon gets in. The two life from this actually as well as the lesson pump is going to be big. That is not a bad lesson. Better than expected. God, this is so close too. If lightning strike were legal in the format, I could be dead. Yes, they attacked with the Phoenix. Good, 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 good. Down to five. All right, dragon, finish the job. Do it. Do it for the land. Eh? Eh? What you got? What you got? I feel so clever. I feel so clever. <laughs> Vengeance. Take that fervent champion. On the play, Lumamancer Lightscribe. Showdown. This is the frickin' hand, guys. This is what we came for. All right, gonna try to hold the planes because of the snarl. I know I wanna play one of these on white anyway, so here we go. This is the jam. This is mono white. That is mono white. Okay, how do we want to do it? I think we want to get the light scribe on. That is a combo. That is a lot of damage if you don't inter interact with it. Now, they might have some Skyclave Apparition nonsense, which is really good because it beats our fight as ones. Also makes the Jiri's shelter super awkward. Look at that. Look at that Usher getting busy. Do you want to boast about it? You want to you get cocky? You want to make a 1-1 one -one for one and a white? Huh? Whoa. Okay, they have two mana removal spells. You want to play rough. Okay. Okay. Guiding voice. Right there. Let's go get the environmental sciences. Play that. Right there, hit our land drop for next turn so that showdown is online. And deliver the beating. Don't Skyclave Apparition me, don't do it. Boom, snapped it off, easy. Was that even a question? <laughs> Was that even a question? All right, showdown, give me a dragon. Give me a dragon. Easy mode. <laughs> All right, so if the opponent has Sky Maul, 
and they put it on like the usher or the skyclave and then don't attack that is their line to stay alive well they had it they had it on the bright side their aggro has to stop and we still power through Dragon! Attack. So they have to chump here. We sacrifice this for two mana, make it white. Let's go with a Defiant Strike. We really want to find a fight as one, because we want indestructible abilities. We don't find it. So no reason to unleash Fury here. We're in a good spot. Even if they have Giant Killer for the Dragon, we can show down. Do we just show down again? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. That is awesome. Let's go. There's another Dragon and a Lumamancer and another Fury. Oh, we are popping off. This is what we were born to do. Did you know it's even called Fury, Calm, Snarl? We have three cards now in the deck that have Fury on them somewhere. Oh. Oh, you're gonna die a miserable death. A miserable death. Let's just see how large we can make this critter, shall we? Again, the BMs, because the kids at home love it. The kids love BMs. 40 power. All right, we're not done yet. I know, I'm a person who has ra railed against this stuff in the past, but then I realized the YouTube audience loves it. They love it. You guys love it right now. Leave a comment if you love it. You love seeing how big of a dragon we can make. The Timmies in the audience are going wild. Just because I don't like it, just because some of you don't like it, doesn't mean there aren't a lot of people that do like it. Oh my god! <laughs> We're doing it, baby. We're doing it. We are, we are going off. This, this is what popping off is all about. How dead can they get? The opponent would have left if they didn't like this. If they weren't, if they weren't into it, they wouldn't still be here. Just discard the card to your Hollow Blade. It'll pass priority from now on. <laughs> oh my... It just doesn't stop. It's the, it's the thickest dragon I think we've ever seen on this channel. If you... If, if you like... Really powerful dragons... Make sure you leave a comment. Let let the world know your support for a 60-30 gold span dragon. Imagine what the world would have been deprived of if I just, you know, did just enough for lethal. It's been brought to my attention that the last game, my camera froze at some point. That's how powerful making that gold span dragon truly was. Camera just broke they were very impressed all right i'm supposed to have a land i'm also supposed to be on the play what i want a refund all right opponent took a mulligan i'll take a mulligan pretty cool i think we put away the fury i think the fury goes bye bye more hellos no here that's what you get for the hello makes sense right G 
Jess guy. It's this. All right, let's get aggro up in here. Gonna defy and strike this. Pump it up. See if the opponent wants to respond with a bone crusher giant. A scorching dragon fire? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Not today. Have some damage. That's damage. Six damage on turn two. Go. You'll love to see it. Fortel. Nice. All right. Uh, really tempting to play Shelter here. I want to be able to cast Showdown, and next turn I want to cast Mavinda. So that's the play for me. I don't want to use Fight as one. I want to use it as a protection spell to make sure the Luma Mancer stays around. Because once we have... Oh, that's even better. That's even better. Ah, uh, no. Let's get out Mavinda. You gonna counter that? That would be sad. I wouldn't like it. Nice. Omen? What do you think they're up to? This is probably an Allrun's Epiphany if it's not a Saw It Coming for the Mavinda. And if it's not a... Um, what's the card? You hold the Multiverse? Yeah, they played an Omen of the Sea instead. Nar set, okay. That's fine. What are you going to do about it? Draw a card, discard. Discard saw it coming, I appreciate that. Let's bring back fight as one. Nope. Are they dead? It's close, right? Okay, we have to math. So we can play the Light Scribe, which means everything else gets buffed. Right? So we play Light Scribe, that's a 2-2. Two, two. This is a 2-3. So there's two points right there. Hold on. So, 2 plus. Now, uh, with the Light Scribe out, we cast a Defiant Strike. That is 1 for the Defiant Strike, 1-2 for the Light Scribe, and 1-2 for the Luminancer. Alright, that's 7. Now we cast Fight as 1. That's 1-2 one, for the Fight as 1. That's 1-2 one, for the Light Scribe. That's 1-2 for the Lumamancer. That is 13. 13. It's not enough. Okay. Still the play, though. That's lethal, right? That's lethal. I was right about the 13 at least. Got out the calculator, did the work, but... And there you go. Opponent is a good sport. We'll send some hearts. I'm not always in the mood for emotes. And no, I can't just turn it on because somebody emotes me. But I, I'm trying. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. And we are almost back for the post-game wrap. But check it out. Not a scam. Bought the Planeswalker bundle. I wouldn't scam you guys like that. I love you. And now uh, we get back into the deck list. What would I change from today's deck? Honestly, I... I don't have any changes to recommend strictly to this main deck. The lesson board is a work in progress. I think the sciences has a place. It definitely came up a few times to hit my land drop, gain a little life, and trigger the magecraft was a big deal. The probations haven't been nearly as good in this deck as they were in the other deck. The, um... Why am I blanking? Silver Quill, because I'm still learning the names of the colleges and colors. I still want to say Orzov. Um, the Silver Quill deck. Academic probation was nuts there because you looked at their hand all the time. And in this deck, not so often. So maybe probation doesn't have to be here. Anatomy is very good. Start from scratch, in theory, is good. 
it almost got us there a few times. Uh, reduced to memory, never had to fetch it so far. So the lesson board is a work in progress. Other cards that you can try in the deck, just you can think of all the usual suspects that go with Goldspan Dragon and things like that. You can also play a super low to the ground version that runs Luris and cuts all of this and just runs more cheap creatures. Clarion Spirit is a card that fits in the deck very, very well when you're casting so many cheap cards, but I couldn't find room for it in this version and I wanted to go tall and powerful instead of wide. So Clarion Spirit, there's probably a really good version of Magecraft in Boros with Clarion Spirit. I just haven't found it yet. There's also a version of Magecraft with, like, it's a big spell deck. It has Radiant Scroll Wielder, and it has Vela Dracus Lorehold, and it has the the command, the five mana Boros Lorehold command. And those that deck is a very different deck, and the problem with that deck is I haven't found any way to beat Emergent Ultimatum with that deck. But that is a pretty fun kind of mid-range to control Boros deck, the kind of thing I usually do like to build, so we'll touch on it sometime. So, uh, that's where we're going to leave this particular video. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next video. Make sure you get a sweet shirt from Into the AM. You're cool.